All right. Well, hello, everyone. Brian Zimmerman here, executive editor of Jazz Is Magazine. Want to welcome you to another episode of Jazz Is Live coming to you at 5 p.m. on this July 28th. It is Delphio Marsalis's birthday. Delphio, of course, of the Marsalis Jazz Dynasty. It's his birthday today. We uh, interviewed him a while back. You can check that episode out on our site. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. We kind of did a dry run of this episode last week. It is our viewer call-in, viewer chime-in, viewer comment-in episode. Uh, we listened to your suggestions last week, and we heard that you wanted to talk about some Blue Note releases, some upcoming releases from Blue Note Records. This is, of course, a historic label in jazz. Started, uh, I think, in 1939, recently celebrated its 80th anniversary. Um, and this year, they're continuing their amazing tradition with a bunch of new releases. We're going to be talking about some. And in the meantime, we hope that you chime in with some of your favorite Blue Note albums. If you've got a favorite Blue Note album, let us know about it in the comments. And on top of it, we are going to drop a link in the comments section uh, of this video. And you will flash it on screen as well. If you click that link, you'll be brought backstage and you can appear on this show along with me to talk about your favorite Blue Note albums. Uh, you don't have to appear on video. You can turn your video off and we could just chat to a blank screen. But if you're out there and you're watching and you would like to talk Blue Note Records uh, with me, the link is in the comments section. Go ahead and click it and uh, we can get talking. Uh, so anyway, that'll be today's show. Before we get into it, you know, there's a lot of great Blue Note stuff coming up, and there's a lot of great Blue Note stuff out there already, uh, and that's where Cambridge Audio comes in, because I know you're going to want to listen to it. They are makers of some of the finest audio equipment in the world. You can check out their incredibly stylish premium Alva TT, the world's first Bluetooth APTX HD turntable that lets you put the turntable anywhere in the room. More information is available at cambridgeaudio.com. Again, if you're just joining us, we have a link in the comments section that you can click on to appear on air on this show to talk about your favorite Blue Note Records album. Again, it doesn't have to be video. Uh, it could just be your voice. You just turn off your video and we can roll from there. In the meantime, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know about your favorite Blue Note albums because we heard from you last week. We heard you wanted to talk Blue Note and that's what we're doing today. All right, so we're going to get into some Blue Note news here. First big news is this new release by the supergroup Artemis. So Artemis is a jazz supergroup comprised of pianist Rennie Rosnies, clarinetist Anat Cohen, tenor saxophonist Melissa Aldana, trumpeter Ingrid Jensen, bassist Noriko Ueda, drummer, Sir Al drummer Allison Miller, and vocalist Cecile McLaurin Salvant. Uh, they have announced their debut album, Artemis, which is due out September 11th on Blue Note. Right now, it's available for pre-order on vinyl, CD, and download, and the album's lead track, Goddess of the Hunt, is available to stream or download today. We will put a link to that stream on our site when we post this video on our site. You're definitely going to want to check that track out. Uh, Ingrid Jensen, the trumpet player of the group, says, The Greek goddess Artemis is an explorer, a torchbringer, a protector of young children, and a goddess of the hunt. I feel that her character is indicative of the energies and wide array of musical tapestries that Artemis, the band, brings to the stage as we take our music to the moon, the stars, and beyond. This is a super group any way you cut it, no qualifiers. They performed at the Newport Jazz Festival in 2018 and blew the place away. Uh, Don was president of Blue Note, was in the audience. He said, all right, we are signing this group. Lo and behold, they are here. Hello to Smooth Jazz family who just chimed in. Thank you for uh, checking in with us. Uh, sign this group. Their debut album is coming out in September. Don was, we should mention, is the subject of a major interview in our forthcoming fall 2020 issue, which is due out in September. It's all about the art of the album. So collecting albums, listening to albums, album cover art. We talked to Don about the historic legacy of Blue Note Records. Don is a very cool guy. Member of that group, uh, Was Not Was, that did the song, Everybody Do the Dinosaur, one of my daughter's favorites. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for that issue coming out in September. All right. Uh, next up with Blue Note news here is the release of the announcement of this series, Blue Note Reimagined. 
Uh, so Blue Note Reimagined is a forthcoming collection of classic Blue Note tracks that have been reworked by a selection of the UK, the United Kingdom's most exciting young artists. The label is billing this reimagined series as a way to bridge Blue Note's past and its future. And again, they've got 80 years of historic, amazing material to work with. It will feature contributions from a roll call of internationally acclaimed jazz, soul, and R&B artists, including Shabaka Hutchings, uh, Nubaya Garcia, Mr. Jutes, Steam Down, Skinny Palembe, Emma Jean Thackeray, Poppy Ajuda, Jordan Reke, Faya, Ishmael Ensemble, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, the collection will include interpretations of tracks by Herbie Hancock, Bobby Hutcherson, Joe Henderson, Donald Byrd, Eddie Henderson, McCoy Tyner, and Andrew Hill. Uh, it will be officially released. This compilation will be officially released September 25th, uh, but is available for pre-order now on vinyl. Yes, they're having a vinyl version, CD, and digital uh, formats. We recently posted a remix of the Herbie Hancock song, uh, Watermelon Man, that was done by R&B artist Poppy Ajuda on our site. Uh, really cool, really inventive remix. Poppy took in a lot of the historical context of you know, the Watermelon Men, these early uh, black pushcart salesmen in Chicago, in New York, and what their legacy is in America, really kind of recontextualized that and made a really, really uh, powerful piece with Herbie's work. So that is on our site now. And again, the uh, compilation is coming out September 25th. This is a joint release between Blue Note and Decca. All right, next on the list uh, in Blue Note news is a new album, the debut album on Blue Note from cornetist Ron Miles. Uh, Ron Miles has his Blue Note debut. It's called Rainbow Sign. It is coming out on October 9th. It is the follow-up to his widely acclaimed 2017 album, I Am A Man, and it reconvenes the same remarkable band featuring pianist Jason Moran guitarist Bill Frizzell, bassist Thomas Morgan, and drummer Brian Blade. Uh, Miles wrote most of Rainbow Sign as his father was passing away in the summer of 2018. It's a very, very personal album. He says, I became more of a caregiver to him. I was so happy uh, that we made it all the way around and that he was able to know before he passed just how much he was loved. Uh, and you know, this is obviously a major accomplishment uh, for Ron being signed to Blue Note Records. The album feels endearing, uh, and it kind of has a very spiritual feel. Ron says it scores the journey from earth to eternal peace. Uh, Ron, it's, you know, there's Ron there. He's a cornet player. Um, and the cornet, if you're curious, the difference between a cornet and a trumpet, cornet is the kind of smaller one. A trumpet has uh, the, uh, a cylindrical tubing all the way until it gets to the bell and flares out, whereas the, tr the cornet uh, has conical tubing. It grows gradually uh, from the mouthpiece all the way to the bell. This gives it a much warmer, uh, kind of broader sound, and it's not used that often in jazz but I think it should be. It's absolutely a gorgeous sound. Uh, Nat Adderley used one famously. Uh, Ruby Braff used one to get that really low, mellow, warm sound. And uh, Ron, yeah, he plays it. It is just beautiful. It's very human, got a very vocal quality. Uh, I think we should see more cornet in jazz. Um, if you agree, let me know in the comments. About the album's title, Why Rainbows? Well, Ron says rainbows deal with renewal. And here is Ron reinventing himself with his Blue Note debut. So be on the lookout for that October 9th. All right. And last, the Blue Note news here is, of course, the announcement of the forthcoming album from guitarist Bill Frizzell. Bill's new album is called Valentine, and this one is actually coming out the soonest. This is coming out on August 14th. It's the debut recording of guitarist Bill Frizzell's trio with bassist Thomas Morgan and drummer Rudy Royston, and it features a wide-ranging 13-song set that mixes Frizzell's originals, new and old jazz standards, traditions, and covers, you know, standard fare for Bill Frizzell, who is known for bridging Americana and jazz, country and jazz. He's a very eclectic player. Um, this one was produced by his longtime collaborator, Lee Townsend, and recorded by Tucker Martin at Flora Recording in Portland, Oregon. Bill spent many years in the Pacific Northwest, relocated recently back to New York, but he is a known presence in the Pacific Northwest, and this one was recorded in Portland, so it's kind of like 
home for Bill. Uh, the group has released a new single from the album called Keep Your Eyes Open that was originally on Bill's album, Nashville. Nashville's a great album. Uh, and it is accompanied by a music video filmed by Bill's daughter, Monica. It's pretty cool. And we're also going to put this video on our site when we post. Uh, uh, we'll put the the uh, single, Keep Your Eyes Open, on the site when we post the video footage of this live stream on our site as well. Um, okay, that does it for Blue Note news, although there's a bunch of stuff you could be listening to right now, including some new uh, singles by Emmanuel Wilkins right now. There is the Art Blakey Lost album, Just Coolin', which you could be streaming right now. So a lot, a lot to digest for Blue Note at the moment. Uh, we are, again, fielding requests for what you'd like us to talk about next week. If you've got an idea, drop it in the comments. We'll come back to it for next week's viewer call in viewer input show and uh yeah the subject is up to you i am going to sign off but before i do i wanted to let you know about this our summer 2020 issue which is already been mailed to subscribers it should be at their homes on their coffee tables this one is all about the age of fusion as you can see got a nice cover story on chick korea in there now, if you're not a print subscriber, that's okay. There is good news. All of the content from this print issue has been digitized and turned into HTML articles on our website. You will need a digital subscription to read them. And fortunately, we're offering a special subscription rate for Jazz's live viewers uh, for just 99 cents per month for three months. You can unlock unlimited digital access to our site, which means you can read all of the articles that appeared in this print issue and all of our previous print issues. Plus, we will enroll you to receive a complimentary print issue come fall. When we release that September 2020 issue, you will be on the list to receive one. That is the art of the album issue, listening to albums, collecting albums, album cover art, all that good stuff. That issue will be yours if you sign up now. Uh, and in general, help us spread the word about this podcast. If you've been liking it, follow us on Facebook, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to notifications so that you know when we're going live. Uh, and yeah, that'll do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Zimmerman. I will see you tomorrow, everyone. So long.